You know, I like that. I like this. Yeah, I like that. Too cool not to like. You gotta like that. What's not to like? I like it. I like it. Like it. A lot of liking going on around here. Well, there's a lot to like. Go on. Like ABC News on Facebook and check out the new abcnews.com. You'll like it. Hello to our fans online, I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Friday, July 19th. The deadly heat wave is now going into day six, the hottest and most humid yet. Two thirds of the country faces another round of searing heat. That's already been linked to the deaths of at least two people. Concerns about the overtaxed power grid have led to calls for moderation in using electricity. The unrelenting heat is even buckling roads and forcing Amtrak to slow trains down just as a precaution. A Massachusetts police photographer has released new photos he says show the real Boston bomb not the glamorized version on the cover of Rolling Stone. The new images first appeared on Boston Magazine's website from the night Johar Zarnayev's capture, including one showing the red dot of a sniper's rifle laser trained on his head. However, the Massachusetts Police Department there, the State Police Department, saying that the release of the pictures was not authorized and that the police photographer is now the subject of an internal investigation. Now to a dramatic new look this morning of last month's deadly building collapse in Philadelphia. The city, city's transit agency released video recorded on board an approaching bus. It captures the moment the four-story building came crashing down on a thrift store next door, killing six people. Stunned pedestrians scrambled for cover as a cloud of dust and debris billows from the scene. All right, some destruction during the first round of the British Open in Scotland. Watch this. Denmark's Thomas Bjorn was whacking his way out of the rough on the very first hole of the tournament when he made a direct hit on... One of ESPN's cameras, an $80,000 hole in one of sorts. The lens didn't stand a chance, and what's worse, the ball ricocheted off the camera and landed in a worse position. He double bogeyed the hole. No hole in one for that. Now, what's great is the camera is still trying to focus in on the action. Like, they never cut to a different camera. Man. I think they wanted the world to know what had just happened. What had just happened. <laughs> All right, get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.